Hey guys, Marvin Sykes here. Thanks for getting on this video. Now you're getting on this video because you want to understand the five reasons people fail to achieve success in anything. And when I say anything, I do mean anything. Now, a little bit about me. I'm in Jersey, been a police officer for 21 and a half years, building network marketing business, showing people how to generate leads online and build their business. That's what I do because I was that guy that was stuck. You know, I talked to friends and family, and after I talked to about 15 or 20 of them, you know, they start spreading the word. Don't get on the phone with Marvin. He's going to talk to you about one of those businesses. And because of that, you know, I struggled in business, you know, and I was too scared to talk to people out in the street. You know, when it came to cold market, I, you know, I got that mumble mouth. I wasn't able to talk to people about what I was doing because I was so worried that everybody was thinking what I had was a pyramid. I was so scared. So, you know, what I'm going to share with you today is, you know, what was going on with me and why I didn't have success. And I see that a lot of people are going through the exact same thing. So if you could spot it and spot it early, then you can fix it. So if you're ready to you know, take your business to the next level because that's what you really want to do and you believe that you found a cure for your family's brokenness, for your financial challenge, whatever you want to call it, adding up to not enough money, then take notes and implement this stuff. You know, run away from it. If you see you're doing it, go in the opposite direction. So let's jump on that now. All right. People really don't know uh, what they want because there are so many choices to be made during our life. And this is what you know, keeps people uh, from becoming successful because there's so many avenues, so many choices. And then what we do is we go after the shiny object. We suffer from the, I suffered for a long time from the shiny object syndrome. You know, if you see something that was looking better than what you had, you ran off to it when you really had the real deal in your hand. That's me. You know what I mean? That was me. All right. Many people don't know what they really want. I remember as a kid, I wanted to be a professional baseball player. You know, I wanted to, I wanted to work on a garbage truck and I wanted to be a professional baseball player. See, as a kid, we want to be multiple things. But then when we become an adult, most of the time, we're not that thing we said we wanted to be, at least one of them, right? So, in other words, find out what you want to do, stick with it. You know, a double-minded man is confused in everything that he does. So if you're not focused in one area then you won't be able to grow. So you want to do that, all right? Um, getting stuck there can lead to failure because we never truly make, make up our minds. Before you know it, we're in our 30s and still not, and still no solid career. You know, through God's grace, I've been able to, you know, work in law enforcement for 21 and a half years and that fed my family and took us on vacations. But when I understood this part right here, and I focused in the one company that I was in. I didn't look left. I didn't look right. I just focused straight ahead. I didn't worry about what was behind me. Then that was the year that I made $114,000 in one year part-time. Part-time, all right? To where I didn't have to work side jobs at my police department anymore because I was doing more part-time there, doing, this, doing the business I was in, than full-time on my job, right? And you may say, okay, Marv, if you did so well, why are you still in law enforcement? Because I had three years to go to pension. I have three years to get a, a nice five figure, uh, high four figures, all right, four figures monthly check for the rest of my life. So why wouldn't I want not want to stay? You know, as they say, you earned it, right? Next, most people that have fail to have qualified mentors in their life. See, when you want to go up, you got to find people that are either there or on their way, and you got to link up with them. You know, a lot of times we sit around with people that are not financially set or they never accomplished much. All right, yeah, they've been on their they've been on a job, you know, 20, 30 years, but that's all they know. And they don't know how to take it to another level because you know what? They're probably in the same boat that you're in. All right. Most people listen to the wrong expert, and that's true. All right. Many listen to people who lack knowledge, experience, and ability to guide you. I know I used to hear Hear it all the time from family and friends who were not in the position I wanted to be in, but they had plenty of advice and were not speaking from a position of prior experience. See, if you never, never saw six figures, how can you tell me how to make six figures? Right? If you, if, uh, if I never performed heart surgery, right, if I never did it, how can I go tell somebody how to be a heart surgeon? Can't do it. 
You got to go to the people who are doing what you do. If you can't get to them, I'm quite sure they left a trail. They left some type of knowledge back there for you to study and then implement to get to where they are. Most of us, and I was a victim, I mean, I was guilty. I wasn't a victim, but I was guilty of this too, not putting to use what people gave me to go to the next level. I always felt it was something more, it was something more, it was something more. That's me. That's all I did. Then when I hunkered down and said, you know what? Let me just get to the notes that I took, the books that I read, all the stuff that I highlighted. See, there's a lot of you on here who read a lot of books, you highlighted a lot of material, but you never implemented that stuff. That's the key. You know, one of my mentors, Ray Higdon, says, your notes are uncashed checks. Can you believe that? Uncashed checks. Because people want to know that information, and you have it, and you can charge for that because you're a professional. All right? So hopefully this makes sense. All right? How, uh, many expect too much too soon. All right? Most people get started on their dreams and goals, and as soon as they don't see the results they want to see, they quit. All right? Think about this. Most people that get started, let's say a network marketing business, if they don't make money in the first 60 days, it's a scam, it don't work, it's a pyramid, they gone, all right? They're gone, it's over for them. But they've been on their job 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, and maybe had two or three raises, but don't go nowhere. I don't get that, all right? Today, many people try to sh take shortcuts to success. Look at the cosmetic, look at cosmetic surgery, all right? How many people want to, Get that flat stomach without working out. They want to go and get butchered up, you know? How many people want to have the perfect rear end instead of doing the steps and the stair climbers? They go down to foreign countries like the DR and pay for butt implants, all right? Many will pay for the body they want instead of working out and achieve the same results in a longer period of time. No, nobody wants a longer period of time. Everybody wants right now, but guess what? Right now is where the satisfaction comes in. Right now is where the, I mean, excuse me, long term is where the satisfaction come in. All right, long term. That's when the joy comes in. That's when the pride comes in. Like, I did it. I did it. Because as, you know, as they used to say when we were younger, easy come. You already know the answer to that. You answered it for me, right? Easy come, easy ride, easy go. All right, so you can't expect too much too soon when you say you're going to build the life of your dreams. It's not going to happen in 10 days, 30 days. How many people play the lottery for years and never hit one time? I mean, I'm not talking about the big pools with the Powerball. In there. I'm talking about the pick four or the pick three. How often do they play, but they there? You see, you got to be able to play until you can get paid. Play until you can get paid. All right. Next, many don't look for feedback. All right. Pride is a big part of this. Instead of asking for help or make the proper adjustments to correct the problems or feel the lack, many hit the brick wall, then they quit. See, if someone gives you feedback on what you're doing, hey, listen, you know, I did that too, but it didn't work, or I did this, let me show you how I did it. Many people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. Why? Because they set in their ways. You know, ego bigger than their bank account. You know, when your ego is bigger than your bank account, you're always going to lose. I, I hate when someone tells me what I didn't do right, but I love when someone tells me when I didn't do something right. I hate it because I like to feel I'm a perfectionist. I love it because I get a chance to get it right. All right? You got to do that. All right? Next, last, many people procrastinate. Right here, anybody else? Raise your hand if that's you. All right? People come face to face with the size of the task or the reality of the task. Then they start putting themselves, putting things off and justifying it in their heads. Many times, I don't want to do video. This video right here, I'm shooting for you now. I was supposed to shoot this two days ago. But I had things that I had to do. And I, I put them off and I justify it in my own head on why I didn't do it. All right? If you see yourself in this, in one of, those, in one of these five, then you have to ele evaluate yourself. All right? Ask if you're really ready, really ready for success. All right? If you are, then you have to defeat each of the five to move forward in building you and your business. See, building you is the biggest construction assignment you're ever going to have. Changing this thinks, the way this thinks, is the biggest thing. Changing the way your mind goes because we're so set, you know, and we come from people who are so set, but nothing against them, but so failing. And if we continue to learn from people who are failing, all we're going to learn to do is fail some more. That's all we're going to do, 
all right? We all fail, and that's fine. Failing is fine as long as you don't become a failure. Failure means it's over. You're not getting up again. Failing means you keep getting up. It's not right. You're getting up. It's not right. You're getting up. It's not right. Failure is over, all right? But you don't, uh, but you don't want to be a failure. And the difference is, if you're failing, then you continue to get up, like I just said. I didn't even read the rest of that. You know what I mean? So don't be a failure. Keep failing. Fail yourself forward because that's the way you're going to get your six figures in your bank account. I had rough times. I had times where, you know what, we didn't know. You know, yeah, I was getting money on my job, but I messed up money so bad. So bad. Because I was living that life. I was buying things I had no business buying. I was leasing cars that I should not have been leasing. Paying outrageous rates. Because that was me. I made those mistakes. But I learned from them. So you want more trainings like this? You want to hang out with me? You want to get a chat? Go to the link up here. Getmorepartners.com getmorepartners.com. That's the link where it's going to show, you know, it's going to get you on my email list and you'll be hearing from me, uh, get on different webinars I have, see more videos like this that I'll be creating because it's go time in 2016. You have to change the way you think now for tomorrow to be different. You keep, where, where you got to right now is because of old thinking that you had that got you to the position you are now. But in order for you to move forward, you need new thinking today because yesterday thinking can't help today. All right? It can't help today. Only today's thinking can help tomorrow. Got that? Crazy? Kind of. Go to the link, getmorepartners.com. Look forward to building with you. See you then. Marvin Sykes out of here.